Welcome to Opel Motorsport as we made our average speed in raining Australia. So right here in Melbourne, this was my final lap, uh, 3 out of 3 as you can see. And this is not a gold, but it was my fastest average speed. As you can see, last turn, the turn that we lose the most amount of speed, and finishing line. Alright, so as you can see, 151.59, it was a little bit far away, but right here on the resource points, I think it's very strange that Tatiana Calderon didn't manage to score a single point but it is what it is we will try to keep her and improve her skills with the team i think it's fair and i think my strategy of making something different in my team it's cool right so this time it's qualifying this is a nightmare practice session on the dry only the qualifying it's on the rain man and it's very bad to play on the wet conditions right so let's gonna jump in this is the final part of the fastest lap that i made again it was on the third try the last try A lot of mistakes was being made by me. Now things are a little bit okay, but I think it's on the next turn. I'm going to make a huge mistake. Oh, oh yes, yes, it was here. Yeah, it's very easy to drift with this with this type of setup and this type of weather yeah formula one it's not the drift bro <laughs> that's for sure but yeah we are on p13 i don't know if we are going to improve yes p11 for now at least ready for tomorrow's race but before we begin, okay so i got the p at the p12 we are two Hamilton points far well, from the two, two positions we'll far from the points we head into the Grand Prix. oh let's gonna jump in about you, so about the acclaim we are making progress we are almost at level five i think i think in the the end of the race we are you going to achieve the, the level flags. five as they line uh, the track let's gonna see Albert it Park. welcome to melbourne and the roar from the crowd can only mean one thing it's race day so here we are at albert park circuit 3.28 miles around with the streets making for a bumpy surface with little undulation there are 14 corners around the lake with the best passing opportunities coming at turn one and turn three it's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Sainz, Perez, Russell, Verstappen, Oscar Piastri, Norris, Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Hulkenberg, Richards, Bottas, Albon, Ocon, Joe, Magnuson, Sonoda, Ricardo, Sargent, and Tatiana Coldrell. Which of these talented drivers Let's will come go, out Tatiana. on top today? And what would any Grand Prix weekend be without the one and only Natalie Pinkham? Now, let's talk about Charles Leclerc. What a quality performance. The big question, though, is how does that translate on race day? Can they hold on to that lead? And apart from that, keep an eye out for anyone getting a good launch from the midfield. You see it happen from time to time, and it can really throw a spanner into the races of the quicker cars and push them onto a more risky strategy. 
right so this is going to be very very straightforward right here i just after the formation lap i lost okay, the the feedback from the steering wheel start, i had to restart the game Make sure you get some heat but the nothing well. minor it's, it's just a minor issue Right, so warming up a little bit more the tires, as usual. Making the whole lap doesn't make the tires go to the right temperature. You really need to make stuff like this. Which is fine by me. With the front tires a little bit cold. And now I restart the game. I tried to make it smooth, but here we go. Lights out. Pretty good start. Yes, I'm from the outside, I avoid the carnage, which is very, very awesome, but Alonso take off, man. It's very hard to try to get those guys on the front. A little bit close to give us hope. But then they take off, man, and it's almost impossible to get them, man. <laughs> yeah, just a little glimpse. But then, you see the leather, you see the times, you see them going away. And you just stop trying to defend the position. Oscar Piastri is ahead of us. Can we retake the position? Please retake the position, bro. Retake the position. We need to stand. Stand, bro. Stand. And yes, we make a dive, we make a little bit of contact, let's forget about it, <laughs> and keep moving forward. We remain with the P8. It's awesome. Some extra points. Let's go. The fastest lap, 120, 127 okay, something. Again, Oscar Piastri, man, he's guys insane. Ahead. It's attacking all the way, man. But we are making... We are making our position. We are making our stand. Let's go, Opel. But so this potentially it's the the same. Oh, it's a three. A three white car, man. Yeah. We managed to breathe. We are catching some fresh air. All right. Another attack from Triastri, I believe. As you can see, I'm trying to be the most defensive possible. Try to keep all the track from me, but Oscar Piastri just overtook us. Are we going to manage to retook the position? Not right now. Not right now, man. All the hope is going away. Okay. Maybe we should stick with P9. Let's okay, go. Try to give our best. Safety okay, a safety car. Sure yeah, I remember this. I remember okay, this well, very well. Yeah, I just said to the engineer that I didn't want to Understood. change the, the stops. But actually, through the MDF, I changed. It's not going to be the mediums. It's going to be the hards. And as you can see, right here, we have a very, very thing that we need to concern and develop on our team. This, uh, this, this just ruins all the, all the racing strategy. As you can see, the pit stop, it's not optimal. Five seconds. The optimal uh, should be now, two seconds and a half. Yeah, we need to work out that as a team. Not just the performance of the car, but that too. Right, so right here, we start in the P13. Okay, I saw clear. some glimpses about Alcon and Album. They are fighting, which is good. So, because of that fight, 
I managed to take a little bit of advantage and I overtake Album. That's P12. This gives us a lot of hope to achieve the points in this race. But yeah, when you do, it was a, a pain in the ass, bruh, but yeah, let's go in, go, oh, come on, man. Yes, I closed the door, man. The guy, the guy only had two options, going to the to other path in the avoided collision or just break and he choose to break. It was okay, so Nori is just, it's out of the session. But yeah, when you do just have two options, it's break or go to another path, a safety path, something like that. Again, we are fighting and defending against you. It was a little bit aggressive from my part, but this should give you the message. We are not going to step back. We are going to defend. Defend! At all costs. Let's go. Although it was a very aggressive move from my part until here, I didn't receive any penalty once again in the same turn. Let's go and we close the door. You could eventually see okay, me. So this careful. this is something that I didn't under, didn't understand because there is no collision, there is nothing, but the floor just got damaged. Maybe it was just a regular thing. Again, now it's Magnuson. This is the final lap. By the way, this is the final freaking lap. And sadly, we are on P11. We, we are so close to the points once again, man. But yeah, we need to keep up. We should not give up at any time. At the driver's standing. This result and better the days are coming ahead of us the rest of the so yeah then, that five Lincoln, seconds pit stop it was very Carlos bad Sainz very bad for us for but whatever race. man Tatiana Calderon it was the not the last one because she didn't see how things are shaping up she didn't DNF Norris have a DNF so technically well, Tatiana it was better than him yeah Oscar Piastri collision with me I got the track limits two times oh damn it was close to get a, a penalty okay Norris with the mechanical failure and this was pretty much a race five seconds pit stop this is insane there was someone got one second and something and yeah this was the highlights hope did you enjoy
yep. P11, the position that no one wants because it's so close to the objective of getting a point. Just one point, man, but yeah, that's it. Okay, so 10k, that must be the floor. We didn't get the, get the um, 1 million mark, but still, with this budget, I believe that I could improve something in the factory. It's gonna see. Alright, so pistons. Jesus. We really don't have luck on our side. That's for sure. So right now we have unlocked the secondary sponsor. I'm going to try to choose the most achievable thing here. There is not much of an option about achievements that we could get. I also going to choose in this episode um, the rivalry. So as you can see, Carlos Sainz have won the Singapore race. So we have unlocked the helmet of him. Some gloves too. I think the gloves doesn't have nothing to do with Carlos Sainz, but yeah, not going to change anything. Just checking out the stuff. So one thing that I have in mind is the need to improve our teammate. We need to make it work for the team. At least score development points. I'm looking very, very towards that side and keeper. Every, every season. If I can, I will try to keep her every season on my team career here in F123. So I believe I'm going to choose now the rivalry or maybe I'm going to upgrade already the personal stuff. Yeah. Five seconds penalty. Remember? Yeah, department of marketing. I believe it's going to be the... to choose the rivalry. So just keeping up the agenda. Everything... I believe that I select every single thing because we have time for that. I honestly don't remember if it was any game like F1 2020 or 22 that it was the only games that I had in Formula 1 that I actually achieved to make every single thing. Right, so Oscar Piastri, it's achievable because it's a rookie, but he got a very strong car. I believe Valtteri Bottas, even though it's a better driver, more experienced driver, he have a weakest car, so I believe it's more approachable to try to have the rivalry with Valtteri. So, another bad luck. This is the second time, third time. Ah. That's very bad. Three times bad luck. We're in a position now where we're able to attract a new sponsor to the team. Head on over to yeah, the Yeah, this time. this Select explanation comes a little bit late. <laughs> it is the AI. Right? Right, so try to develop the most that we can. Let's go. Alright, this this is about the second driver if I'm if I'm not mistaken. So I, I'm just going to decline. Not just it's pretty obvious. I don't want the second driver to lose face or race Thanks or whatever the I want to improve her not to make her bad Our new parts <laughs> if you know what I mean they'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend 
And yes, we are behind Williams, but we are level up. Very level up. Until we get us. So it's not uh, out of this world be possible to surpass Alpine and Haas. Williams, of course. And yes, this was the episode for today. 